Hello guys, Frey Shadow here, and today I have specs on the PlayStation 4. Now, these are really old. These are from March 30th, 2012, but, you know, this will still give us an idea of what, you know, the PlayStation 4 might be like when it's completely finished, because this is less than halfway through the whole process of uh, developing and creating and engineering the PlayStation 4. So if this is just the base, basically, imagine what the final is going to be like. So I'm going to go off and just start reading everything that's on here. So the CPU is a 22MN cell broadband engine uh, X processor clocking at 3.2 gigahertz, uh, 16 PPGs, and... 128 SPEs. So if you're really technical savvy, you probably know what that means. I'm just starting to learn this stuff. So um, the GPU is a 22MN uh, custom uh, Nevita uh, SCB Quantum Leap GPU clocking at 2 gigahertz based on a GK104 times 2 Kepler architecture. So that, that just sounds awesome, the whole quantum leap thing. Um, the memory uh, for that is 10 gigabytes and then an additional 10 gigabytes. So all together, it's 20 gigabytes for, I guess, the GPU and the CPU. Um, storage capacity is going to be starting off at 250 gigabytes to 320. And then right at the end, it says it's possible that you can upgrade it. So I'm assuming that it's probably going to be like a removable hard drive that you can just upgrade whenever you want more space. Um, the operating system is Sony ETH Ather QUI. Um, the maximum video resolution at this time, it was uh, just 2D, was 2160 p And then 3D, it was 180 p um, all PlayStation 4 games must be rendered at at least 1080p and 30 frames per second, 2D and or 1080p, 30 frames per second. All right. Maximum audio channels, 11.1, uh, you know, standard audio channel for all PlayStation 4 games must support 5.1 audio channels. Uh, media formats, PlayStation 4 game disc. PlayStation 3 game disc, PlayStation 2 game disc, PlayStation game disc, high definition, high definition Blu-ray disc, um, including B, BOX or BDX, uh, disc support, DVD, compact disc, and digital distribution. So for all those rumors that are saying that, you know, it won't be able to play PS3 games, well, from this, it says it's going to be able to play PlayStation 3 games, PlayStation 2 games, and PlayStation 1 games. So that's pretty cool. Uh, controller in like input uh, DualShock 4, DualShock 3, PlayStation Iris. So I'm assuming that's going to be the new PlayStation I. Um, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation Omni, which that sounds pretty cool. Um, PlayStation Certified Xperia, uh, Sony Tablet. Now, if you guys know, um, Sony has actually made a new tablet, and they've uh, made a new brand of Xperia phones that look pretty slick. So I have a feeling that's all going to come together. Um, PlayStation Move, PlayStation I, 6-axis, remote controller, uh, USB controllers, keyboard and mouse. So now you can, you know, well, even with the PS3, you can use keyboard and mouse. But this is like one of the main uh, controller inputs. So for those PC gamers that, you know, want to get that kind of same feel with their keyboard and mouse, will still be able to achieve that feeling. Uh, connectivity. Uh, USB 3.0, HDMI 1.4, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi dot or no Wi-Fi uh, I E E E uh, 802.11, uh, DLNA, Ethernet, PlayStation Vita, memory cards, uh, a whole bunch of just word or not words but just letters with uh, slashes. I'm just going to skip that and then it just says memory card support. So um, if you guys want to see it. Um, this is what it looks like on my PS Vita. Um, most of us have seen this actually uh, around August of this year, but it's dated if you look for March 30th, 2012, which you probably won't be able to see it, but I will post it on Twitter. So thank you for watching. Please check my Twitter for uh, PlayStation news, 
updates and just everything you care about when it comes to gaming. Uh, this has been uh, just Shadow here, so I'll see you guys later.